Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we'll be installing Internet Explorer 8 inside of Ubuntu 20.04. Where some people may still need Internet Explorer 8 for more legacy websites. For example, there's some companies that still need Internet Explorer 8, but they don't want to use an older version of Windows. So, I'll be showing you how to install Internet Explorer 8 inside of Ubuntu, or really any Linux distro. To install Internet Explorer 8, we're going to be using Play on Linux. Play on Linux is a GUI version of Wine. Wine allows you to run Microsoft Windows applications on Linux. The first thing that we need to do is, of course, open up the terminal. From here, this is how we're going to be installing Wine and Play on Linux. Installing Play on Linux is actually really simple. All we need to do is type sudo apt git install play on Linux. From here, we can just enter our password. And from here, it will read all the information that it needs to install Play on Linux. From here, it will tell you how much disk space this application will take up. For me, it's just about 1.08 gigabytes. So I'm going ahead and click Y and go through. From here, it will download everything it needs, including Wine, Play on Linux, all that kind of stuff. It will download it, and then it will install it to your system. So that, this is pretty straightforward. You can go really go do anything while it does this. This may take a little while to download and install, depending on your SSD and internet speed. But other than that, this is pretty straightforward. Play on Linux has officially finished installing. From there, we can open up our app launcher and scroll down and see that Play on Linux is now installed right here. From here, we can just click on Play on Linux. The Play on Linux UI hasn't changed much in the last five years, so I'm going to say this is going to remain the same for a long time. From here, we can go ahead and click the plus install button and allow Play on Linux to initialize all the program lists. After Play on Linux initializes its program list, we can go ahead and click on Internet. From here, we have all kinds of different Internet options, from Internet Explorer 1 all the way down to Mozilla Firefox, Opera, Raid Call, Safari 5, and all this kind of stuff. If you've never used Play on Linux, I highly recommend taking a look at it as it's very interesting. It has a ton of different interesting applications that you can simply just run on Linux. But of course, we're here for Internet Explorer 8. So we're going to click on that and click install. From here, it will tell you how Play on Linux actually works. It uses a virtual C drive. We can go ahead and click next and then next again. This tells you that results will be comparable from one computer to another, blah, blah, blah. You can just ignore that. Now here, this is the Play on Linux installation wizard. It'll tell you where this application will be installed. So for example, we're going to go in home, Ubuntu, Play on Linux, wine prefix, IE8. This is where it will be installed. Now, the virtual drive for Internet Explorer 8 is going to be created. This is basically a virtual C drive that will allow Internet Explorer to think it's being ran on a real Windows computer. Now, for Internet Explorer 8, Play on Linux is downloading Wine 4.0.3. Again, depending on your internet speed, the speed of this download will vary. Now, it will ask you a few things. So for example, Wine could not find a Wine Mono package. You can just click Install. From here, this is our first glimpse into, per se, Windows. As we can see, it has that Windows 9X style cancel, install, and loading bar. Wine can now also not find a Gecko package. So from here, we're just going to install the Gecko package as well. Now, Play on Linux is going to ask you to install Microsoft Fonts. Of course, this is a Microsoft product, so we're going to have to have the Microsoft Fonts. From here, there it says to read and accept the license terms, but no license terms actually show up. So we just click I agree at the bottom, and then next. From here, Play on Linux will tell you that Internet Explorer 8 is not supported on this operating system. But we can just click OK, and here Internet Explorer 8 is installed. So from here we can click on it, and then click Run. And now, now here we are. Internet Explorer 8 is now installed on Ubuntu 20.04. As we can see, there are some differences between the real Internet Explorer 8 and this. This is actually Wine Internet Explorer, which is something I didn't expect when I did this video five years ago. Internet Explorer 8 was actually installed. However, there is some kind of Wine Internet Explorer custom version now. However, this acts and feels exactly like Internet Explorer 8 on a Windows machine would. In fact, I would say that this might be compatible with more websites than Internet Explorer 8 actually was. However, this still uses the same core fundamentals that Internet Explorer 8 would, and it's basically just a replica of IE8. So if you were to ever need this application for work or for personal use, this is how you would get it on an Ubuntu-based machine. Just to clear some stuff up, I did this video five years ago. However, the quality of it was not that good, and I really wanted to make an up-to-date tutorial that shows it on the latest Ubuntu distribution. And so that's why I created this video. 
Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of various technology videos. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.